How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Steins Gate Zero. Things got pretty damn interesting last time as Daru literally punched or slapped Okabe right in the fucking face. There were there was a lot of raw emotion in the last episode, which I can definitely appreciate the story is definitely picking up in a way. Uh, we're actually most definitely in a completely different direction than the bad route. We're, we're in a new chapter, actually. So, it'll be interesting to see where things go. Right now, Ma Maho and Daru, they're, they're working on a phone wave unit 2. I don't exactly know what they're trying to accomplish, but I guess we'll figure out what exactly that all is right now. Maybe. Hopefully. あなたの懸念しているような事態は起こらないし、私が絶対に起こさせない。ただ、今はその検証にリソースを割くより先に、やらなくてはならないことがあるの。Maho tapped the top of the phone wave unit 02. Goddamn, does that look different than what we're used to seeing? She was right. I was looking at a time leap machine, not the phone wave name subject to change. I could tell they'd recreated all the improvements that Kirisu had made to the phone wave. The most obvious was the PC and monitor that was connected to the microwave. And connected to the PC was a headset and what looked like a cord covered in electrodes. In this world line, only I knew the details of how the time leap machine was set up, and I hadn't told Daru or Maho about them. In other words, with only some small hints, Maho had managed to create the same thing as Kirisu. それをトップダウン検索信号込みで携帯電話に転送する。そこまではできるの。that was the part that Kirisu had struggled with the most, too. But in the end, with Daru's help, she'd been able to do it. She seemed a little unhappy as she asked me that. Asking for the answer meant giving up on finding the solution for herself. And so it meant admitting defeat. Maybe that was really hard for her. Yet she'd chosen to put completing the machine first. But I had no intention of giving her the answer right away. Maho didn't answer for a while. But without even looking at her face, I could tell she was being torn apart inside. あなたとの約束だもの。<笑> 
After a long pause, she gave her answer. I couldn't help but laugh. God damn. Then I left the development room. I looked toward the shower room, but I could still hear the sound of falling water from within. Daru was showing no signs of being done. Daru. I spoke, but there was no answer. Maybe he hadn't heard me. It seemed better for both of us if I apologized tomorrow. That was all I said as I headed towards the door. Maho followed me. She came up to me so fast she almost slammed into me. ま、<笑><笑> あんなのは<笑> Maho was gritting her teeth hard. I almost went out of control and grabbed her by the shoulders. But I managed to stop myself at the last second.俺はそれ以前に何回も何十回も何百回も挑んで。私も言ったはずよ。だから何だと言うの。そんなの科学の世界では当たり前のことよ。それで失敗したのなら何千回も何万回も何億回も挑戦すればいい。そうすれば必ずそこに解放は見つかる。God damn. Was that picked up by my microphone? I don't think it was. Vibration on my desk with my phone is just absolutely insane. Really took me out of the out of the mood here. <laughs> Sorry. <君は君は何も知らないし経験していないから>、<笑> 数式を解くのは人間よ。結局のところね。We were glaring at each other, our faces close enough to kiss. <laughs> Maho's gaze burned into me. For some reason, I couldn't bear to look at her. So I turned away. I turned around without saying a word and tried to head out the door. But she grabbed the hem of my shirt and stopped me. I didn't expect that. I turned around, annoyed. <laughs> a moment ago, her expression had been so fierce, but now she simply wore a sad smile. It was so different that 
For a moment, I thought I'd jumped world lines. <laughs> Maho whispered to me. <laughs> Was I lying? I put my hands up to my face, trying to figure out what she meant. But that didn't tell me what kind of look I had on my face, of course. So I simply stood there, confused. <laughs>俺は嘘なんてついてない。橋田さんに聞いたんだけど、一年前のあなたってタイムマシンに関してはトリツクシマもなかったんですってね。シュタインズゲートの話なんてそれこそ論外。口にするのもはばかられるほどだったって。一体
I just happened to run into her, so I said hi. And she was crying. I was really surprised, but when I asked what was going on, she was really upset. She said that it was her fault Kyudisu had died, and that's why you were suffering. She said she should have died instead? And then she ran away? I ran after her, but I lost her. What, what do I do, Okabe? What do I do? No. I looked at Maho. Daru had come out of the shower room at some point and was standing right behind me. Then that meant there was a good chance she did. It felt like my knees were going to give out. Mayuri existed in this world line because of Kirisu's sacrifice. And that was the one thing that Mayuri could never find out. Me, Daru, Suzuha, Feris, Maho, everyone who knew the truth had kept it from her. I needed to find her. I needed to find Mayuri. I couldn't let her be alone right now. I ran out of the lab. It's interesting, in the, in the other route that we went into, the one who, uh, who broke that news to her... The one that broke the news to her was, uh, was Maho. The same event is happening, but it's not Maho who, who directly told her. Instead, it was via a conversation with Okabe that she found out. Interesting. The summer solstice had passed, and by 6pm, the sun was finally setting behind the city skyline. Part of the sky was still red, and the rest a dirty blue. For the past few days, Suzu had worked on the time machine on top of the radio building. It was almost time for her to go back to the past, which meant she was putting a lot more effort into the maintenance work. Parts which could, never, which could normally get dirty with no trouble had been polished to a sparkling shine. She finished her work, put her tools back in the box, and stored the box in the time machine's cockpit. Then she sat down in the control seat and took another look at the battery gauge. With the amount of fuel she had left, in less than a month she wouldn't be able to go back to July 27, 2010. She had to leave this era before that time limit passed her by. The original plan of taking Nintaro to the past looked like it was going to fail. That meant she would have to go on the mission that she'd spent the last year coming up with all by herself. She chuckled to herself and stuck her hand deep into the computer core. Inside was an external hard drive that clearly belonged to 2011, not 2036. Itadu had probably put it here when her back was turned. One of the secondary touch panel monitors was displaying a warning that read foreign object detected in cockpit. These machines were capable of breaking through early 21st century camouflage in less than a second. It was clear from the way the fake wires were laid out that monitoring and data retrieval were not its objectives. He'd probably hidden it here because he didn't want anyone to find it. Maybe she should just pretend she didn't see it and leave it here until she was just about to leave. As she pondered the best course of action, she heard the heavy door outside opening. Oh. Who's here? Someone was here. Suzuha pulled her gun from its holster and looked out the cockpit toward the iron door that led into the building. She still remembered what happened with Kagiri the other day. It couldn't hurt to be careful. But when she saw who it was, she relaxed. It's Mayuri, isn't it? Yep! Now, I do remember. I do remember in the bad route that Mayuri, after she, you know, was told what she practically just found out about now, she went with Suzuha to the past. They took the time machine. But then again, the whole world was kind of dying right there. 
She put her gun away and jumped out of the cockpit to welcome her. Suzuha had no idea why the always smiling Mayuri would be crying. She almost spoke but quickly cut herself off. How did she hear? And from whom? The cruel truth that Mayuri's survival depended on Makise Kirusu's death. There was nothing in the world Suzuha had wanted to see less than the look on Mayuri's face when she discovered that. But there were only a few people who knew the truth, excluding herself only Nintaro, Itaru, Feris, and Maho, and none of them would deliberately tell her. In fact, they'd all hidden it for, for her sake. <laughs> then it was an accident after all. Suzuha wasn't sure what to say. To be honest, she didn't want to say anything at all. It wasn't something that would make her feel better. Another line of tears spilled down Mayuri's cheek. Suzuha suddenly felt like she was she was looking at the Mayuri she'd known in the future. She thought of the big sis Mayu that she'd ever that she'd seen ever since she was a little girl, excuse me, and she couldn't refuse her request. あたしの知ってる未来のマユ姉さんも時々そう言ってた。そんな時は決まってぼんやりと空を眺めてるんだ。すごく寂しそうで切なそうだったよ。あたしも鏡も。マユ姉さんのそんな顔を見るのが辛
世界から消えちゃうわけじゃない雲の向こうで変わらずに輝き続けてるのだから一緒にお祈りしようねおおそんなマユ姉さんの言葉が私やカガリには希望になったんだそれだけは知っておいてほしい少なくとも私やカガリにとってはマユ姉さんが必要だったそれにオカリンおじさんだって死ぬまでマユ姉さんのことを大事にしてたんだマユ姉さんの幸せのことばかり考えていたんだ死ぬまであっ Maybe that was another cruel truth for her. But Suzuha decided that she would hold nothing back now. So. Dio. Okarin Oji san wa. Ima kara 15 nen go made shika ikirare nai. Supposedly. And the other branch that we took, he apparently was able to live until 2036. And then he time leapt over and over again until he was back. Uh, to, to the current time, really. <laughs> Which doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, how do you continue time? I, I didn't understand this in the first game either when they talked about multiple time leaps. The,、uh, the time leap machine has to be present, right? I never quite understood how Okabe was able to pull that off,、uh, you know, thousands of times. Mayonnaise on Okabate. Shinunda. So. Okarin Oji Sama. Saigoni. こう言ってたって父さんに後から聞いたマユリの命を助けることができて本当に良かった自分はマユリを守るために生きてきたんだからそそんなマユリ put both her hands over her mouth でもマユ姉さんはそのことをずっと引きずっていたんだろうな私たちには見えないところでこっそり七夕の空を見上げてつぶやいてた「あの日私の彦星様が復活していたらすべてが変わっていたのかな」I don't know what that means. Mayuri was repeating the words to herself. The tears were still pouring down her face. But her sad cries finally came to a stop. She was still shaking, but her voice had gotten quiet. かな私今なら分かる気がする1年前私オカリンおじさんの態度に本気でムカついたんだチャンスが目の前にあるのになんで諦めるんだってそんなオカリンおじさんをかばって甘やかしてるマユ姉さんのことも本当は許せなかったんだよねでもさこの1年ここで暮らしてみて感じたんだあの時間違ってたのは私の方だったって今ならあの日のオカリンおじさんともっとちゃんと話せるかもしれないあの日それでうまく説得できるかどうかそこまでは自信ないんだけどね As the sun set in the west, the shadow of the time machine lengthened, and Suzuha is along with it. マユ姉さんの望みを
叶えられるかどうか試してみるマユシーの望みシズハ gently rubbed マユリーズ tiny little shoulders それがシュタインズゲートへ向かう鍵だって信じてみるシュタインズゲートを開くことができるのは彦星をやめちゃった普通の星じゃなくってマユ姉さんの彦星しかいないような気がするからさつまり私が新たに考案したミッションは彦星の復活<笑>倒産流に言うならオペレーションアルタイルとかオペレーションアークライトとかそれともアルタイルとアークライトを結ぶって意味でオペレーションデネブかな倒産ほどのセンスは私にはないみたいだ。Mayuri trying to draw herself up as best as she could on wobbling legs. <laughs> Suzuha stared at the girl in front of her, unable to believe what she just heard. タイムマシンにも限界が来てていつ制御不能になるかわからないそのまま消滅してしまうかもしれないそれでもお願いマユシーだってラボメンなんだよオカリンとダル君に助けてもらってばっかりなのはまあ嫌だよマユリー rubbed her eyes hard and wiped away her tears Life was slowly, slowly returning to her frail body. Mayushi, ne? Ocarin no koto ga. Suki. Tabun, Chris san to on na ji gurai. Hmm? Chiga. Zettai ni, Chris san ni make nai gurai. Zetto, zetto da i suki. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yoin Kyoma is also my 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 hugest crush. Got the hugest crush on that man. Not Okabe, not not so much Okabe, but Yoin Kyoma, most definitely. この世界から消えてなくなっちゃいそうになってた時そんな私に向かってこの世界にずっといろって言って救ってくれたのそれが彼なの私の彦星様なの私私ねもう一度彼に会いたいあの偉そうな高笑いをまた聞きたいたとえ私が織姫様になれないって分かっててもそれでも私にとっての彦星様はこれまでもこれからもずっとずっと彼以外にはいないんだもん <laughs> Don't worry, we all do. The girl who can never be Orihime shouted all of her feelings to the world at the top of her lungs. And right in that instant. What the heck? Suzuha heard a sound from her cell phone that she'd never heard before. Oh. <gasps> It was the sound of a video message. When she saw the sender and subject line, Suzuha gasped. Beryl? This is a movie mail. 
Hmm. Now that's intriguing. But we're back over with Okabe. <laughs> who's out of breath. Holy shit. All right. That's where we're going to end this episode. Uh, it seems like a good stopping spot. Uh, man, I, I wonder... I wonder what's in that video message. What could Daru be wanting to send to Suzuha at this exact moment? I wonder. I'm actually very curious. I kind of want to continue, but we got to end it for this one. So tune in for next time, and we'll see what's going on in regards to all that. So thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and all that fancy jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.